Jason Rosario, Charlo's trainer. Castaño punches more. He tries to outwork you. He's in a very effective counter puncher, and of course, has the great equal up now. You know, you can tell that Charlo's just basically looking for. But he gets, uh, he throws wild punches and he opens well, up. Well, yeah, I don't. I, I wouldn't go so. Far, but he's pretty responsive him there, and I think he's going to bait him, at especially the inside punches. Yes, and no quarter who is still surprisingly defensively responsible as he lands that lead right. And Gonzalo is going to try to outwork Jermal, but you don't want to outwork. Got it. Charlo's never thrown more than six hundreds ago against Deshaun John. Look for the one punch that will turn things. Yeah, Charlo. Boy, he is definitely things, Abner. Yeah, and he's with And here comes Charlo. I was just about to say, Castagna has some. Oh, oh but Charlo can clipped him in the twits. And Charlo now on the punch. And that is why Castagna. Fish an attack from Jamal Charlo. A terrific second round, Charlo. To do though. Charlo. As we settle in counter punch of choice, would it be this tough from Charlo? And we'll see. Held an unofficial round robin at this weight tonight. Yeah, this division is. Set. Don't try to hook as much. Do the same thing. Yeah, it's exactly. It's the double jab is way in without getting with the previous fighters, but a uh, you know top five good fighters. But Charlo's to the body. We saw what happened in the eighth against Rosario. Now Castaño distance clips from Charlo with the left hook. Oh, oh he my! He took advantage of that that opportunity. He covered. He tried to counter. He tried, but he got caught with the left hand. Oh. Right there. Right, right inside. Charlo along the ropes. Gustav with that left hook block. Wait, you just oh. looking for the opportunity to counter. Charlo leverage on those punches. There's a sweeping left right now, guys. Best punch, which is the hook. And he said, "What? Well, yeah, I took it. I almost, you know." Mm. Yeah. Oh, right, right on Charlo. And he heard. As he gets in, he lands his combinations as well. Final minute of the fourth. They fought each other. Castaño comes back now. There's a left hook to the winning in this round. And there, Charlo. All, all rounds coming into this moment. Castaño in the corner, unloads the left to right, there's a good jab, but Castaño, of course. Happened when he fought uh, Harrison, the definitely set up a trap. Men. Charlo unloads the one, two, oh, but he'd run that score. And the cuffing left hook, two through the guard from Charlo. Charlo steps the difference here uh, for him, that's where right. it's Castaño used 40% so far of his power punches, I mean... Charlo wanting to bait fifth, pawing at him with the Jai Castaño. I am on the guard waiting for Castaño to make him coming in. Or the up scene yet. Uh, and Castaño well, has the pressure a little bit more. Work the body. That spot there is where Charlo. Yeah, that's where Castaño's got him having problems in this round. Castaño's that right body shot. He gets the attention of Charlo. Counter attack by. Oh, unloading on Charlo. That's Charlo from double from pumps the jab. There's a left hook cut that miss for Charlo. Good head move jab, and he started. And, and he, we know that he's got a powerful rounds probably by the... Daniel throwing more and landings. Again, a theme that we've seen throughout. Gets a fighter hurt and Changley. That has worked for Castaño managed to make that three through the guard. Misses with the left hook. Counter shot lands for Charlo. Fans on their feet and sustained two-way action as Charlo goes to the body. Right hand by Castaño. Charles Dunn did a better output. We're used to seeing great jabs. He knows how to be good. He... We've seen many volume punches become less volume punches against each other. And now it's volume with 30 seconds left in the sixth before Castaño comes back. Think about Jamal stops throwing the jab. He gives you the opportunity. Or Derek James about the uh, languishing on the ropes and eating shots like this. For... Attempting to crown the first Jamel Charlo. Prince and Styles, which makes it very interesting to see his share of grounds. Go in Castaño. I have Castaño ahead. 58 56. Well, the jab was able to pierce through there a few times, but Castaño now returning fire. He lets his hands go. He's really a jab scores for Charlo, splits the guard. Total punches, you take a look, and it, you know, because it plays per round, some will argue, you know, what punch it's, it's a very competitive and interesting.
interesting fight. Couple exit. Retreat, try to establish the jab on the ropes. Pivots and then goes to, for Jamel Charlo, what, less than 20% of his inning. Yeah, he's on the way in. That's one thing he needs to do more of. Yeah, by Castaño. Left hook to the left. For Charlo to throw the jab to counter on top. Just Charlo then to split the left hand like we just Boy, saw. Good work on the inside there, Biker. Leads with the ropes. Is Charlo giving him this round, but Castaño continues to march forward. We head to round number eight. Los Abel bent the agenda. How many rounds they yeah. they met? And so many of these much different directions. And there, of Castaño now up by three points. Castaño used. Oh, oh, see, there's the jab. Right hand and the left hook. Remember that left hook, and I'll tell you, oh, nice right, but this fight was not going to be a long one, and he's hanging in there, boy, isn't he? 12 to determine an unbeaten champion at 150. Somehow, I want to say it's shocked that he came right through him. I, kn I know he was expecting this habit, and it's there in your yeah. face. Oh. It's a game changer. And there's the jab of Castaño. I think that is such a... He only lands a little over two around, but... He Carlos landed a nice left hook to the body, yeah. but then Castaño... His low output, explosive power. And yeah, and we know of his power in the fight around and with one the volume punching. Charlo with the left hook or the right hand. It's here in the final seconds. A good round for Brian Castaño. Castaño has been very calm to what is the biggest fight of both of Charlo has to be more of a volume puncher in himself. More than just a jab. Punch with the jab. Let your right hand go. We land 7.8 rounds per punches per round. And that's pretty significant. Castaño just underneath that Charlo still on his back, unable to. We still have not yet seen the uppercut from Jamal that he usually sets up, especially. Yeah, I'm surprised that punch has a oh, yeah. Overall, it's a big, it's a big, more than an edge. There's the jab. It's a stiff one, and it popped Castaño's head forward. Charlo on the ropes. Castaño with some blistering combination punches. Not. Yeah, they're not up. Yeah, he's yeah. making the fight. That right hand. The right hand of Kiss people would have thought. Once a right hand. There's a right block by Castaño. Castaño. Pot shotting with the jab is Charlo. Castaño closes the distance. Doesn't score a lot, but still met. Well, you can't discourage, Ryan. Right? Number 10. The opening, Castaño coming in with the... He's been unable to really implement with his right hand, but... It happens, and you overtrain, you didn't train well enough, you over let his hands go a little bit more. Well, James told Carlo, you know, fighting in his hometown... Daniel said it would have beat, uh, but he's proven to be alive. Well, the pressure for Charlo. Oh, it's for Castaño. Right hand clips the jaw. Charlo oh, yeah. sitting down and marching forward. After him, in round two, he didn't... And it's the right hand that Mo talked about. And there's another right hand. Castaño does not fight he survived by nature to under him. Clip the jaw, Castaño. Castaño tried to land the hook. He's going to have to do something. That's right. Yeah, you saw yeah. that. He missed. Oh, and the right hand lands for Charlo into the fight for Jamero with 10 seconds left in the Charlo can unload on Castaño. But Castaño, round 11. Normally, Castaño is against his share. He landed. Uh, 55 punches. He's, he's looking like himself. And he's listening to his trainer doubling up with the left hairs. And he lands a right and a left. There it is. Get your get your respect back. That's what you just past the midpoint of the 11. Bounced off Charlo's glove. Charlo no. Castaño on Steve Forhood's unofficial score. Carlo has not been active in this round. Only that many more from Castaño, but Cast Back to the we got. And to keep Castaño away from him just a yes. little. Oh, Late yeah. hand by Castaño. Charlo firing back. But back comes Castaño. Chip pedigree. Champion. Highly competitive. 
to be a really interesting round for both. Kasai Charlo overwhelm him. But Charlo look for the open right can, spot. If Char is that enough yes, to win the good. fight? Yeah. yeah. To who takes the twelfth? Oh, goes guys, so much in stake in this round for I think for Charlo. In this round of landing the jab and some things about Stanio trying to put his own mind. Pressure. He's not just in a minute. Tonight's main event. Hang on, Castaño. Castaño. And, and done the better work. But here comes Castaño. Holds the gap in this round. Oh, nice body. Mel Charlo than his previous as we come down the stretch. We remember the Alamo. July 17, 21 in San Antonio. Spirit Championship at 154. 114, even a draw. The decision is a split decision.